Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Ethereum. We're gonna be doing a general market update. Obviously, it's gonna be highly dependent on what Bitcoin does here now that Bitcoin is above the 20 week moving average. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Let's go ahead and jump in. Now, I wanted to mention that we just launched another Into the Cryptoverse NFT. Okay, and if you go to nft.intothecryptoverse.com, you will see the two NFTs that we've launched. The first one over here was given away to premium members. Okay, so this one was already given away. No more can be minted, um, but you can go see that one there. And if you go to this one, you will see a new one, which we just launched. There's only gonna be one of them. And we're partnering with world-class artists to, to bring good art to the Cryptoverse, okay? And this one specifically is made by a guy named Tiago Marino and his team. Um, so you guys can go check him out. Here's his Instagram. And, you know, I, I wanted to bring something to, you know, to the, to the Cryptoverse that was a little bit different. And so I wanted to show you guys this one. Uh, perhaps you should lower the volume on your, you know, if you're, if you're listening to this through earphones or something, I would, I would recommend lowering the volume. I'm going to play it for you. there it is if you're curious about the artist again go check out his instagram page uh he's got about forty-one thousand followers so go follow him on instagram um i don't even have an instagram uh but go follow him if you if you guys like the art and you want to see more of his work but anyways the artwork is called infected uh because obviously if you if you watch the video it's talking about buying the dog coins um so the artwork is called infected and it comes with a free lifetime membership to the premium list and i should say that it will no matter what you do with the nft you get to keep the lifetime membership okay the first person you know whoever whoever gets it at the auction they get the lifetime membership even if they get rid of it even if they sell it whatever they do with it they get to keep the lifetime membership so if you go if you want to see it you can go over to um open c uh if we actually we have to click back over here and we'll go to view on open c so we're going to leave the auction open for uh seven days and at the end of seven days it'll just go to the highest bidder hopefully you guys um we'll, we'll check it out and we'll have more nfts coming sometimes we'll we'll sell them uh, we'll auction them off or something, and then other times we'll just give them to people on the premium list. So we we gave away the first one. This one we're going to auction off, and and we'll see we'll see where we go from here. Uh, let's go look at Ethereum right now. It is trading at just below thirty one hundred dollars. We're now thirty thirty sorry three thousand and eighty one dollars. Uh, you know, as far as I'm concerned, this is is completely normal. Okay, we talked about this not being the market cycle peak, right? I don't think Bitcoin 64K is the market cycle peak. I think we have, you know, a ways to go. But with that said, we need to look at, at prior moves to try to understand where we could be. Not necessarily where we are, but where we could be. So if you look at prior moves, this market cycle over here had three legs, right? It had one, two, and then a last one. So far, this cycle has had this one. And now you could argue that this phase is similar to maybe this phase here or this phase over here, where after a major move, you come back down to the 20 week, you maybe you flirt with it for a little while, and then hopefully you ultimately can hold it as support or, or not go too far down below it. One of the reasons why I, I could, you know, maybe some of the evidence for this not being a market cycle top is after the last cycle peak, we came down significantly below the 20 week and then we ultimately got rejected by it. This time, it looks more similar to what we're doing over here, right? Or, or what we did over here. It doesn't look nearly as, as similar to what happened here where we, where we dropped and then came back up and got rejected hard by the 20 week simple moving average. In fact, you know, the counterpoint is that we're still strong and my guess is we're at a similar spot in the market cycle, like this area, and this area. That's my thinking on, on where, where Ethereum currently is. And obviously we know it'll be very much dependent on what Bitcoin does. If Bitcoin does not hold the 20 week, 
And, and you know, if, if Bitcoin ends up coming back down, then we would expect Ethereum will come back down with it, but that doesn't take away from the fact that it's still in this range, right? It's still in this range. And that's what I think we're currently looking at for Ethereum. For the Ether Bitcoin valuation, you know, you have to, I mean, we're still, we're still sort of here in a downtrend, okay? So I wouldn't necessarily get out of bed um, at this moment. Remember, we went up all the way up to 0.082, then up to 0.077. Now we went up to about 0.074. So, so I would say there's still a lot of work to do on the Ether Bitcoin valuation. We know that in Q4, Ether Bitcoin tends to bleed. Sometimes it starts before that. So I don't, you know, I, I would say with the Ether Bitcoin valuation, you should, you, you know, I, I wouldn't necessarily expect it to immediately explode be pleasantly surprised if it does at some point whenever bitcoin goes to 100k or beyond i would expect the bitcoin dominance to go up or if bitcoin were to you know if bitcoin were to dump again i would expect the, the dominance of bitcoin to go up as well so you know as long as as long as we're we're sort of hanging out down here i don't think we can get overly excited quite yet about the ether bitcoin valuation we do have a long way to go in terms of bitcoin proving itself to be holding the 20 week as support and whatnot or, or to be coming off a, a major bottom, okay? So, I mean, over the last few weeks, Ethereum has actually outperformed Bitcoin, uh, but over the last few months, it's underperformed it, okay? The last few weeks, outperformed, last few months, underperformed. And so the question now is, can Bitcoin hold the 20 week? And if it does, is it gonna go into price discovery mode above 64K, or is it gonna hang out for a little while? I mean, if it hangs out for a while, you know, we know that the rest of the market can run, uh, but right now, I think that a lot of the market is just sort of sitting back and watching what Bitcoin does. So if you're curious, I would say, you know, keep an eye on Bitcoin. See if we can actually close above the 20 week moving average by the end of the week. And if we can, then that's going to it's going to look really good because then ideally we just hold it as support and then we're off to the races. And if Bitcoin's off to the races, then what does that usually mean? It means that Ethereum is going to lag behind for a little bit and then at some point outperform it and then you get another tsunami. But I, I would say we still need to be relatively cautious on the immediate idea that Bitcoin has to go to a new all-time high. We still have a little ways to go, but I will say we're at least out of the sandbox. I mean, Bitcoin's at least out of the sandbox for above the 20-week simple moving average. This week is important. This month is important. It should provide a lot more direction on what will happen over the next several months. Remember to uh, subscribe to the channel if you like the content and also check out the NFT that we just launched called Infected. You can go view it on OpenSea. We'll leave the links to that in the description below. Thank you guys for tuning in. Definitely subscribe if you're not subscribed to the channel. Click the bell icon to turn on your alerts and I'll see you next time. Bye.